because we're in October and it's the season of Halloween, I thought I'd do this video and link it to arty stuff because it is, and you'll find out why. I am into paranormal investigations. If you haven't seen my videos, go and check them out now. They're all in the playlist of paranormal investigations. And I did quite a few in different places. One of them was Glastonbury, where we stayed in a like a it was meant to be a haunted hotel place. So go and check them out if you want to find out more information on that. Some people will believe in this, some people won't believe this, I know that. Everything I say in this video is true and I'm not making it up, there's no point for me to make anything up. I just thought it would be a cool thing to share with you guys and see what you think about it all. So when I was younger I did have a younger sister and unfortunately she did die. We don't know quite why she died but she was only on earth for a little while and I was a lot younger. I was still like first school so I was a lot younger than I am now of course so yeah like I say she died and we do recently more so have seemed to have had communication with her and like all my like my sisters my other sisters and stuff we were all really arty so it would go without saying she came through more strongly on a punch I'm not sure how that's how you pronounce it. It's called automatic writing. And basically you have a it's a bit like when you do I hate the word Ouija boards, but when you do do Ouija boards, I mean there's so much negativity about Ouija boards. Whenever you do stuff like this, make sure you always do it in the light of good and make sure it's nothing evil coming through. Always ask who it is and make sure you ask questions that relate to what only you might know because otherwise it could be someone pretending it's something else because normally if there's good there's always going to be evil so you have to make sure you protect yourself and make sure you're on guard and never do stuff like this when you're in your mind like your mind is not in the right place because just don't mess with things you don't know basically is what I'm saying but I do believe in stuff like this. I mean, I believe in energies and vibes and all that kind of things as well. But with this, going back to it, it's called automatic writing. And you put your hand on basically a planchette and it is, has a pencil and in a group. And it moves around as you're talking to someone, as you make communication and make sure it's that person. And for this, we are communicating with my sister. I don't want to go into major dis like details about her and stuff because I don't think that's necessary. So we do automatic writing and for this we asked her to draw a picture of herself as you can see here and it surprised us how detailed this picture was and we know it was not us making it move and everything we were asking her because she did a few like different pictures <laughs> that related to what we were saying and I just found it amazing because this is the first time in more detail, I mean before she's come through but lately she's been coming through a lot stronger and then I asked her to do a picture of me, what well, was really cute because of course I still see her as my younger sister, of course I would do if she's in a spirit of, you, like on earth your sisters, are, well they're all younger than me anyway but I still see her as my younger sister of course and I said do a picture of like a portrait of me kind of thing and she did a picture of me and it was like going over my smile over and over again so even if you believe it isn't the spirit of my sister or you might think it's something else it was done in a loving way it was not done in a negative way so that's why I feel so strongly that I w would love it to be my sister and I do believe it is myself but I know some people won't think it is, but even if it wasn't, then it's always done in a loving way. And she always seems to want to connect with me the most. Like, whenever she comes through, she always says, who do you have a message for? And it's always seems to be me. And she always wants to, like, say something, like, love, or she wants to say something about... I always ask her about my art stuff, because I just chit-chat like you would normally to your... my sisters on Earth and my family on Earth. You chat to them. I just find it really interesting and amazing how it, I don't like there's so much out there that you don't know and you it's just like I just find it astonishing how the humans don't know hardly anything really on certain things and I just find it fascinating how you could be talking to your spirits of the people who used to live on earth and your family 
and different people and yeah I mean I still get scared at horror movies and things like that so don't worry don't think oh this girl's not scared of anything like that because I am I can't I still can't do horrors I just can't do horrors but stuff like this doesn't feel like that because if it was freaking me out I would be freaked out but when I was doing it and stuff my hand would go cold um and there's a thing what's called um it has a meter on it and it changes it's a spirit gets in contact with it and you can have different devices that will light up and stuff and a cat ball what lights up and you can make that go off was pretty cool so you can say try and make this go off try and it's just always like trying out new things but this latest thing the art thing i thought was really different and i hadn't seen it in that much detail before it's always been like a, a really it's normally like a heart but this time it was like a portrait of her and a picture of me and i was like okay and she didn't do the same drawing twice it literally hers had long hair mine looked like it literally was shorter hair and stuff and even when we were on it you could say that were we making it up but when we were doing like the eyes and stuff I was like oh is the eyes finished and then my other sister was like no it's not so that's kind of thinking well it's not me doing this because I didn't even know that I wasn't finished and like when she was doing the hand looking like she's kind of waving it was kind of more fingers and for us, it's really difficult to explain how it's done, but it moves in a certain way when a different spirit is on there and stuff like that. I don't know what you think about all this, and do get involved and put in the comment box because it's always cool to hear what you have to say on this subject. And it is a different subject for me to talk about, but I think it links to arty stuff as well. And being around Halloween time, and Halloween does not always have to be scary things. Halloween is a time what like is Day of the Dead and they celebrate the your family, friends who are no longer with us that basically in Mexico they celebrate Day of the Dead and it's like a celebration of them no longer being here and a celebration of their life. So Halloween does not always have to be a negative and scary thing is basically what I'm saying and this is why I wanted to do this video and I thought it links quite well with the whole art thing and the whole Spirit Sisters thing. And do give it a thumbs up if you like this kind of video. And remember to subscribe to my channel as well and be part of my Razzdaz family. And click that little bell so each time I do a new video you'll be notified, notified, <laughs> notified. And you can go and check it out straight away. And remember also I do a lot of artwork so go and check that out on my social medias. That is my Instagram and my Facebook. So it's Razzdaz my art. And I do sell my art pieces as well. That is on Etsy, which has some art as well. So you can buy all my arty stuff from on there. And see you guys later.